Today I'm going to be taking you through a practice session that I did with Sam, who is a D1 college player. He's at the University of Memphis. I think his UTR is about a UTR 12. So I'm just going to be talking you through what a standard practice session looks like at this level and the type of things that are going through our heads and the type of drills that we're doing. So like most practice sessions that we started with rallies down the middle, what I'm really thinking about here is trying to get a good contact point every time, just starting off with having like an average rally ball of about like a five or six out of ten not trying to hit it too hard just gets some consistency i don't think either of us had played much leading up to this and both of us had a few days off so really want to get the consistency build up a timing and just spend an extended amount of time rallying down the middle often when you're rallying down the middle it's about getting every shot in play getting a feel for the ball so really trying to mix up hit some slices hit some backhands hit some forehands not really worrying about where i'm hitting my shots on the court that'll come later um, and just getting a feel for all my shots so as you can see here, we're starting to up the pace a bit. So from an outside perspective, it can kind of just look like we're aimlessly rallying down the middle, but really having that focus on getting clean contact points, hitting the middle of the strings every time, and then really starting to up the intensity with our feet and get our rally ball up to a level where it's about a seven out of 10. Quite quickly move this on into the cross courts. Sam hits quite a heavy forehand, so you can see me timing the ball a little bit late there, hitting a few balls down the middle, but started to adjust my feet as we went along and really trying to get in a good recovery position and not just camping out in the tram lines, just slapping forehands cross court, really trying to make it realistic recover back to about a meter or two away from the middle and try and out rally each other in the cross court if you kind of create sort of point situations in your head like who can win that cross court battle can i out rally him can can he drop the ball shot before me can i make less errors than him even in these rally based scenarios where it's technically still the warm-up having that intention in your head is so important to start off the session well so we probably spent about half an hour going from down the middle to the cross courts and warming up our volleys. And with the volleys, I'm really trying to get the ball over the service line and have good footwork on my volleys. We moved on to a drill where I was trying to move forward through the ball, um, start behind the service line and really attack the volleys and then get a rhythm for it, try and get the contact point out in front. And then when I felt comfortable at the net, then knocking away a few volleys quite common for us to do this where get a rhythm for a few and then put a few away um, so you're just practicing that attacking volley at the same time. So after we did this extended warm-up we had a little chat about what each other were working on and then we constructed a drill. Often with these hits um, because Sam was just back for the summer um, we hadn't practiced much before and it's not like a coach training session, it's more just like a mutual hit where we're working on our own things. So we made a drill where we were really trying to work on our aggressive inside out forehand, attacking into the backhand, and then the other person could try and neutralize with their backhand, and then we played out the point from there. Quite simply, you both start relative, relatively near the middle, um, slightly in that backhand cross court positioning, and then one person feeds the ball to the backhand side, to the middle at a medium pace, one where Let's say you're in a rally, um, somebody drops it slightly central, or drops it a bit slower pace towards that middle and they really want to take advantage of that forehand. So really working on that rally based scenario and um, trying to take advantage of that forehand. For the person receiving that aggressive forehand and trying to neutralize with their backhand, a good place to go is deep middle to cut off the angle for the person to attack on. Or if you can get a good hit on it, hit in like a ball with good shape cross court to your opponent's backhand to neutralize. Occasionally you'll see in these points we go hard shot down the line and it comes off occasionally but it's a bit more of a high risk shot so if you're feeling it then sure go for it but the high percentage play will be either deep middle or shape cross court. When playing with someone at this level you can really see that you can't drop any ball shorts because they take advantage of it straight away so Sam was doing really well at taking you know, my short balls so I just got I had to stay solid and then take advantage when he dropped the ball a bit short. During practice sessions like this it's always a good time to work on things in a way that a slightly less pressure you don't want to be so wild that you're just missing balls all over the place but being a bit braver than you normally are in a match put things out on the practice court that you don't normally do in matches so that when it does come to the match court you have the confidence that you've done it in training if you've seen my tournament videos you'll probably notice that i'm actually playing a lot more aggressive here than i do in my uh, matches and that's something that i'm actually trying to work on trying to bring that aggressive game to the to the match court but I'm still trying to find that balance between aggression and consistency. It's, it starts off quite well in these points here and then starts to spray a few errors and I know that under pressure I start getting a bit tight and being a bit less confident with the shots that I was hitting.
So I'll shut up now a bit and just let you watch some of these points that we played. To finish off the session we just played some points with serve, I was just focusing on any time I got that ball that we just practiced in the previous drill to really try and execute the pattern that we just worked on. And so here's a few points from the set that we played, hope you enjoyed the little insight into this practice session. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this.